Hi! Omega Chaos here again, uh, with another episode of uh, Revolution of Rank Up, and this time I am doing with my Rank Up uh, gimmick puppet deck for the last time in the series. So let's see how it goes. Of course, uh, last time I dwelled with this deck on the series, I used uh, a complete, completely different version with trains, but quite honestly, uh, that uh, deck was more of a, a train deck than the gimmick puppet deck. So I kind of went back to the drawing board and I tried to find a good build that actually uh, uh, focuses on the gimmick puppets more. And the engine I found was uh, Kaijus. Uh, Kaijus, of course, are, are a good out to a lot of uh, different monsters, like, uh, of course, the Cosmo monsters, Beatrice, and uh, infamous uh, Ultimate Falcon, and Great Magnus as well. And, of course, uh, the Dark Hole card uh, they have is really powerful. And it, it gives you a, a level 8 on the field. You can make rank, making rank 8 becomes um, more easier with uh, that card. And my opponent is playing the Draco Slayer Performer Files. Yeah, the deck is definitely not dead yet. My opponent is going all in first turn. That would be very problematic for me. Especially if my opponent makes that uh, Titanic Galaxy, because I kind of want to activate my trade in and get two draws. But the King Puppets are still very inconsistent and not really as powerful as other decks, so. It was a pretty, it's pretty hard to actually make them decent enough to compete with the more powerful decks. Yeah, it just... But let's see what my plan is going to do. Obviously, Ignister, but that's the one, only one you are all allowed, so... And it's definitely right for the limited. And it's just too good being able to get rid of any card in the field and doesn't even direct or destroy. Okay, then my Chester. I'll find some of that from the extra deck. Okay, Dinoster, of course, like expected. Yeah, this hard is very hard to get rid of. My opponent opened up very well. Yeah, I think uh, I'm probably going to lose because my opponent is going for a flesh, probably. Or chart hand, which is. Yeah, very painful. Like, how I'm supposed to uh, get rid of that field? Like, it's pretty much impossible. And hopefully, I throw something really good. But it's. Um, very unlikely, unfortunately. You just can't compete with that. You just can't. With those kind of first turn fields. Well... Let's see if our opponent is going to negate that. I 
And of course, my opponent's going to get so just to render. There's nothing I, I can do, so let's go to the next duel. And I'm back. So hopefully, I do better at this time. I didn't throw, throw any kaijus either last duel. This and I mean, this seems to be better, but still not particularly great. Yeah, I guess I'll send Treasure to the graveyard, and in my turn, unfortunately, I don't have any protection. I really want to go second with this deck, and so. I'll No, well, only one back row. And nothing else. Interesting. No one's on Humpty Dumpty. Go for Gergig on the cross. With activate effect. When search for yeah gear changer just then just attack I will set that on a strike and end my turn. Okay, must uh, well that's not good. Get another more point ends the turn again. Oh, I uh, another thirty dollars. That's not good. And it says like like my opponent quit because my my screen has frozen on the pro. Oh, no, not frozen, but I can't do anything. So I guess let's go to the next one again. And I'm back again. Hmm, this sand is not that great. But it's now oh, it's Cosmo. Well, that's painful. I really hate that deck so much. The new support makes it even more broken. Especially considering what I'm playing. Yeah, so the set, this series will end uh, soon. So in this case, going just triple that, give it a kaiju. The Amazon gear changer. And then suppose one Mogato. Like the effect. Hmm. Go 
go for Gimme Puppet of Strings. And then activate Dragon Magic Ocean Coast Force. And I can draw a card. Another rank up. Didn't need it, but and then just attack. Normally, normally Cosmo doesn't play anything like Mirror Force. And without Cosmo, more point probably can't deal with. Ultima Trainer either. Wow, Call of Taunted. Well, this might be, might be problematic for me. But we'll see, I guess. Well, that's fine. Dark Destroyer. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that Dark Destroyer can destroy itself as well. I think a Dark Destroyer should definitely be limited. Like, there's no question about that. And my plant can even search twice in the same turn. Yeah, it doesn't have that hard once per turn close on the second effect. Which is yeah, really crazy, like... No, no, Cosmojo, I hope my opponent doesn't get that. Well, thankfully, my opponent didn't. Otherwise, I would have been pretty much screwed, unfortunately. Take Cosmo Tone. Because right now I'm pretty much banking on my ultimate trainer to protect me until I, until I can destroy my plant. The candle of darkness as well. Yeah, it's completely ridiculous deck. Like I said, Dark Destroyer should be limited immediately. It won't kill the deck either because they have so many other cards like Forerunner and Dark Eclipser and Dark Planet that are also very powerful but are just not as broken as Dark Destroyer is. If it didn't, if it didn't float like uh, like the smaller ships like Forerunner and uh, Sleep Rider, uh, but would instead would have floated like uh, Dark Eclipse and Dark Planet that just adds the card to the hand and, but doesn't uh, summon it, would have been a lot more bad. But since it does float into another and uh, non targetable beater. It's yeah, pretty crazy. And the fact that it destroys a monster, inclu including um, monsters on, on your side, so it can pretty much act as an enabler for your place as well, which is yeah, definitely not good. Pretty much all top decks are currently very broken. 
And of course they have pretty much always been I guess. Okay, we got which Courier Bandit Bandit in Cosmo, okay. That's interesting, but Okay, my opponent gets the Oasis. So... Okay, first going to attack where the Cosmo team can. Just in case. So I kinda sense a solar strike face down. I'm still going to take the risk. Going to end my turn. Yeah, Cosmo Town, of course, getting the straw man. Yeah, since I took out the machina engine from the deck, I, mean, I now have. I don't have many ways of discarding my Treadridor from the hand aside from trade, and so. You kinda have to fix that problem as well. Another back row, or oh, even more. At that, I think it might be Cosmojo. Okay, Twin Twister. Actually, that's another card that. Can discard my turtle. That's why I actually play it. Just a really good card. Okay, just going to destroy those new set cards. Another cloth taunted. And to us as well, I like, seriously. Well, that's pretty crazy. Negated them. Doesn't really matter. They can attack and go at the tin can. I 
activate and affect the Ultima Trainer. Keep drawing another card. This time it's Trading. I'm going to use it as well. I'm just going to end my turn at this point. Okay, a little of darkness. It's only a matter of time until my plant throws another. Was much uh, because yeah, my opponent doesn't have many cards left in the, in the deck. And then I'm pretty much screwed completely. And Dark Planet can also run over my ultimate trainer, so yeah, I'm not going to win this duel. I try to do my best. And try to hold on in this twelve but it's not going to end well, basically. Just as it is. And my opponent just quit, so I won. Oh yeah! Didn't imagine that could happen, but yeah, I guess it could be a possibility that my opponent just lost connection. But because my opponent still had plays, and the only thing that was protecting him was Ultima Trainer, I guess thought that just couldn't get rid of it. So yeah, so I guess that's a. Pretty nice victory. So, uh, this is for this uh, episode of uh, Revolution of Rank Up. Last time with uh, my gimmick puppet deck. I will do that deck profile of this deck after uh, I have played with all the decks on the series for the last time. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, for now, uh, goodbye and Omea Omea Kiss out.